the hip fire of pretty much everyone who is playing Tarkov right now absolutely sucks. And it really doesn't have to. With a couple of minutes of practice each day, you can easily get above average hip fire and start dominating close quarter fights. In this video, I'll explain and demonstrate four levels of hip fire control so that from whatever level you are at now, you know what to practice in order to advance your skills to the next level. For each exercise, I use an infrared setting on the Steiner d bow as it is more difficult to hit fire accurately than with a visible laser. And it still provides the same accuracy buff. Start out by equipping your favorite gun with a bunch of mags and load into an offline raid. Find a clean wall and shoot any two spots on that wall. Without aiming down sights, alternate between shooting those two spots and try to keep your shot grouping as tight as possible. When you're ready, add targets and add distance. Next, pick a single target and shoot it while strafing side to side. Then add targets and add distance. Your goal during this exercise is slow, clean and accurate tap firing. Don't spray and pray. Next, load into an offline factory with AI enabled. Your goal is to patrol around the map, cleanly one-tap headshotting the scavs using only hip fire. Don't spray. Just single, slow, and accurate one-taps. In between scavs, shoot out lights and anything else that looks like it makes a good target. Now that you can accurately hit targets, it's time to learn skills that you can actually apply in real raids. Starting with recoil control. Begin by spraying four to six bullets at a wall and vary how much you pull down until the initial burst is tight on one spot. Then try spraying the entire mag. Pull down sharply at the start of the spray, push back up a tiny bit, then hold steady. Executed correctly, this will result in a very tight spray. Now you can accurately spray at stationary targets. However, in real raids, you and your enemies are often moving. The following exercises will help you practice the skills you need to track moving targets. While stationary, spray a flat line. Then alternate the directions of your spray. While moving, spray at one spot. Alternate the directions of your movement. Finally, while moving, spray a flat line and alternate the directions of your spray and movement. Now apply what you've been practicing to different types of peaks. For example, standing lean, crouching lean, strafing lean peak, jumping, Sprint jump into side jump. Now that you can accurately spray using a variety of peaks, the next step is to practice shooting through pennable obstacles, such as some doors and walls. For example, in this position, dueling someone holding inside black, a common spot for them to hold is right here. Therefore, from the outside, I should practice shooting like this. He's probably holding like right there. In this clip, I use the angle of his flashlight to figure out where he is holding. This is his perspective. And mine. In this clip, I shoot a short burst in a line at head height at the audio of his footsteps in server. Finally, you should identify all the common angles PMCs like to hold and practice shooting them through obstacles. Let's briefly touch on developing a clearing routine. The key question is, what is the best way to clear an area if you have no idea where PMCs could be holding? In general, you should aim at the most likely spot an enemy could appear so that if an enemy does appear, 
the distance you need to move your mouse is as small as possible. This topic is too large for this video, so I'll put my complete guide in the description. However, as a quick example, let's look at clearing parking office. In green are the common spots PMCs hold, and blue are the uncommon spots. This is the wrong way to clear. And the right way. My goal is to sequentially clear the common spots and as many of the uncommon spots as possible. What you should do is start by picking your favorite map and analyze the hotspots. Figure out a set method of clearing the hotspots that assumes you are pushing in completely blind, as in you've heard and seen nothing at all. Execute this method every time in the same way and let your enemies teach you the flaws in your method. Then gradually adjust it to fix those flaws. As your method improves, the likelihood of dying to someone camping silently in a corner will decrease. 